I wanted to show you some finishing touches I'm putting on this photo. This is from Milford Sound down here in uh, New Zealand, about four hours south of where I live. Um, this is kind of the before shot. This is the middle exposure, and then after, um, after I ended up with this, which I like better. I think it's a nice little adjustment, right? I think the HDR version is brighter. There's a lot more texture in the sky. Um, the, the water has come out a bit more vibrant, uh, but there's still more changes I want to make. Um, by the way, here you can see all my various layers. Let me kind of break it down for you. Reverse. So the first thing I did is kind of brighten up the, um, the mountains back there. Okay, they're a little dark, so I just want to give them a little bit of light. Here, in this one, what I did is I made the, the ground a little bit more contrasty and a bit more vibrant. Okay. In this one, what did I do? In this one, I kind of added to the HDR-ness and desaturated a little bit. Like, I find that the sky was a little just too hot pink, right? So I actually desaturated. And then here, this is sort of a, a final layer, just a little bit of vibrance to give a little bit of glow, okay? Kind of randomly splashed around. Now, I've already exported this, and let me tell you the final adjustment I want to do. In landscapes, I believe balance is important, okay? So here you can see the mountain on the right side exiting the frame about right there. And over here, you see it exiting up here, which makes this left side seem much heavier, and more you know, onerous and daunting or something. So I want to, to bring balance back into the force, you see? Um, let, me, let me go ahead and pull this one up inside of, uh, oh my god, what's going on here? Oh my god, what is this? The bridge, uh, uh, yes, I guess. I don't really understand these complex questions, Adobe. How dare you? Okay, let me enter here. I'll bring this into Photoshop to do this final adjustment. Um, so I guess some of you guys know that I used to be a uh, computer science and uh, math major. That's what I majored in college. I don't really do much of it anymore, but it did kind of give me an affinity for uh, all things math, algebra, calculus, diffy Q, all that kind of stuff. And I like you know, maybe this has affected my aesthetic sense in that I want to bring balance to landscape photos. So I don't like that, I feel like this side of the equation is much different than this side of the equation. Okay, so let's, uh, let's bring a bit of balance back in here, shall we? I like things to exit the frame at approximately the same spot. We could bring this all the way in here so they exit at the same spot, but then I feel like we're really just cropping off a lot of stuff we don't need to. So I'll bring it in just a little bit. Okay. And I'll hit enter. Okay. And then we're going to go into something called Puppet Warp. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'll say Edit Puppet Warp. Puppet Warp is not normally used for this kind of thing. Okay, I, uh, this is normally used for like, I don't know, like let's say you're into uh, dressage with a little equestrian activity. And you don't quite like the angle of the, uh, the horse's leg. Well, you can use Puppet Warp to change the way the horse's leg is shaped, okay, like a puppet. I like to use it for landscapes. So, you know, might notice I just dropped a bunch of points down here, okay? This is, I don't want anything below there to move, okay? But everything above there I do want to move. So watch, if I click this and start dragging this around, I can start changing the shape of this mountain, and nothing below those points will move. You see? You see? Uh, which I do want to do. I want to bring this mountain down a little bit. Let's grab the sky and bring that up a little bit. We don't want to stretch it too much, just a little bit's okay. Bring this down a little bit more. And we're going to take this side and we're going to bring it up. Okay, so it exits a little bit higher. Pull this over here. Pull the sky up a little bit. Again, you don't want to make it too stretchy because it's too obvious at that point. Um, let's go ahead and bring this side over just a little bit. Then you want to take this peak, this is miter peak, and we're going to bring this up a little bit. You know, if you make it like really tall, it's ridiculous, right? But we're just going to bring it up just a tad, because it, it really is, when you're there, and those of you that have been to Milford Sound know, it is by far the most prominent thing there. But when you go wide angle, what happens is it makes these side mountains seem bigger, which they're not really, okay? So we're just going to bring a big, bit of balance back into it. Make this part a bit more bulbous, because this side is quite bulbous. A little bit of balance back in here. Yeah, looking good. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter now, and it will uh, actually process all of those pixels. 
You can see we have some ripping up here at top, um, some difference here. So we're going to go ahead and pull this down just a bit. Good. Ha ha ha. Yes, looking good. I'm just going to chop off a little bit of the left side here. A little choppy chop. So it's a little less. Um, so that the mass, the mass of the mountains on the same side is a little bit more equal. It doesn't have to be perfectly equal, right? This is not a shot about pure symmetry, but we want to bring a little bit of symmetry back in here. All right, look at that. It's a nice finished shot. Um, let me make it a little bit bigger. Let me hit the J key. I'll just go do a little bit of uh, a little bit of balance here. So I'll put J. This is the content of where fill. So things down here, like see this little white spot down here? Even though it's totally natural, I'm going to pop it out. Because the eye starts to jump towards really high contrast areas, which is at the end of the world. But sometimes it might read as like a little white spot there, even though it was actually white. It looks like trash or something, right? See this little rock right here? I don't like that rock. It's going to go away. Um, yeah, that looks pretty nice. I like this. I like the waves in here. Really nice balance shot now. I like it a lot. All right. Uh, so let me combine these two layers. Uh, Command E, and then I'm going to save it. Uh, save it as a JPEG. That's how I save my final images. Save. Okay. So let's look at a before and after, um, so to speak. Okay. Where is the before? There it is up here. So this is kind of the before shot. This is sort of the middle exposure. Um, oh my gosh! Why is my computer so slow? Another reason to move to Windows. My God, what? Okay, what is happening? Oh, Lord have mercy on my soul. Let's go here to this one, shall we? Uh, let me undo my previous. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Where is it? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Adobe products. Adobe products. Hey, come on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here it is. My gosh, finally. See, let this give you hope. You're not the only one that struggles with this stuff. Yours truly does, too. Um, so this is sort of the original middle exposure. Um, and you can see, like, actually these colors were amazing that night, right? The incredible pinks and peaches. Quite a lot of vibrancy. And, it, of course, in person, it's much more vibrant than this middle exposure, which is lame. You can't quite... Mountains are black. Again, a little bit unbalanced. See how heavy the left side is now that I mention it, how light the right side is. So after uh, HDRing it and all this other jazz, uh, we end up with this version, which I think is uh, much more interesting and dynamic and vibrant and full of life and more balanced and all these things we want to do with our photos. All right. Um, thank you again, uh, Passport members. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, please, you know, let your friends know, your family know. It's very accessible, fun stuff, helping you here on your own creative path. I hope this gives you some ideas and inspires you to go out and try to bring a little balance into your life and into your photos. All right, you guys, thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.